Justin Chamnitz here, realestatewholesalersclub.com, and I see you. Stop it already. Stop beating up yourself. Stop beating up yourself. Well, it's true, you do have a lot of shortcomings, so it does make sense if you want to beat yourself up. But guess what? So does every successful person that you've ever heard of. But successful people will not take time to stop progress to feel sorry for themselves about their shortcomings. Instead, they acknowledge the shortcoming, then they turn it into a strength. The most successful people on this planet never let their shortcomings determine what they can and cannot ultimately do in their life. Instead, they see these as indicators of areas that require improvement, and then they start working diligently on improving those areas. Here's a thought. What if your biggest weakness turns out to be your biggest strength? In my life, I've learned that my biggest weaknesses, I can work on them and develop them and turn them into big strengths. This is great for me because oftentimes my weaknesses are also a lot of other people's weaknesses. I'll give you an example from my own life. I used to hate making phone calls to homeowners looking for property deals for my real estate investing business. I hated it. I dreaded it. I would have that feeling inside my gut that would just say, oh, I'd rather do anything but this. But I decided one day that I was going to finally overcome this weakness and turn it into a strength. Now, I have an entire business built upon that strength. Not only that, but I have a coaching business built upon that strength as well. This is a weakness that not only I suffer from, but a lot of people other than me also suffer from it. So turning this weakness into a strength was a great plus for me. So I invite you to take a look at your own weaknesses. What would happen if you were to focus on one of your weaknesses and really turn it into a strength? Here's an exercise. Take a look at the weaknesses that you can determine in your own self, and then ask yourself, what are some of the same weaknesses that I see a lot of other people suffer from? Would those other people be willing to pay me if I were to get strong in this area and show them the way. Your so-called weaknesses are oftentimes a part of your personality. So instead of changing your personality and changing who you are and being fake, and being fake, and being fake, try to think of ways that you can turn this weakness into a strength. Let me give you another example from my life. There are several tasks in my business that I absolutely hate. These are weak spots for me and they are very difficult for me to overcome. So instead of giving up on the business, I decided to outsource those tasks, turning my weakness into an administrative strength and moving my business forward. In short, never let your weaknesses determine your future. Embrace your perceived weaknesses and turn some of them into your biggest strengths and the world around you will recognize. So again, your exercise is, determine what weaknesses you have in your life And then ask yourself, what would happen if I were to take one of those weaknesses and turn them into a real strength? Second, I want you to ask yourself, who can help me do this? Tomorrow, I'm going to visit with you about listening to your intuition. Realestatewholesalersclub.com is here to help you do just that. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.